Innovation is about doing things differently. Creativity is about thinking about things differently. And of the two of them, innovation is the easiest of the two because you can probably innovate by doing things differently in almost any organization you can think about. But creativity is much more complicated because that is thinking about how you can change how an organization or a structure works in an entirely different way. There are some organizations like Dyson, which is entirely based on creative thinking, which is quite easy to do if you start from nothing, because James started with nothing. He thought of himself as a designer and an artist, and he created something which was completely different from anything else on the market. And to do that, he had to have a whole number of skills. He had to be a marketeer, he had to be a salesman, he had to be an engineer, he had to have good PR, and he, of course he had to have a product which was and looked different and better than anything else on the market. So it was a whole combination of these things that he brought to the business, which allowed him to completely revolutionize the market in vacuum cleaners. Dyson has a normal management structure. It has a CEO, a CFO, all the things that you'd normally associate with a business. But it's how it organizes that that makes it different. It believes passionately in giving young people their opportunity. So it grew with very young people being given a lot of responsibility. And because they had imagination and self-confidence and creativity, they were able to do it. What Dyson did was to say, we won't go and buy another company in America. We won't hire consultants. Uh, we will go and do it ourselves, sending our own people who are young men and women and young graduates and tell them to get on with it. And within two years, Dyson became the largest seller of vacuum cleaners in America. Similar story was true about Japan. The first thing that you've got to do, creativity and innovation comes from the top. The second thing you have to do is to give people their head and then support them and back them, even when they make mistakes. The third thing you have to do is to reward and to keep them. The people who work in Dyson do so because the whole atmosphere of the company with their colleagues, with the opportunities, with the structure, allows them to feel they're part of something that's really going and really exciting. Every business is different, every structure is different. But if you don't have it embedded in the minds of the people who run the organization, and who are prepared to take risks in ways which are different from what the ordinary run-of-the-mill do, then it won't work.